Greetings, friends. So I'm just in uh, Trinity Bellwoods Park, which is pretty close to downtown Toronto. It's, you know, by Queen Street and Dundas Street, large park, one of the larger parks in Toronto, but very urban park. The people here are younger. I guess you could call them hipsters still, more or less. And uh, it's a nice park, lots of trees, lots of facilities. It is really the only green space for the people who live in their tiny spaces in this part of the city. So with the lockdown, uh, they took measures in this park to prevent people from getting sitting too close to each other uh, at risk of a fine, like an $800 fine or something. And, and uh, this broke the previous behavior of park goers who would, you know, fill up this place. It's not my kind of park, it's not my kind of scene, but I wanted to come here to see how have they changed since the police began cracking down on them. Because even well into the lockdown, there were some, once the spring began, uh, they started coming out here in droves, not regarding the social distancing. Not that I think that you should, because it's all, a, you know, you know what I think of that all. But, but I was just curious to see, would they, would they continue to do their behavior? And no, they have been following the rules, and I'm going to show you, I'm going to try and you know, not too intrusively bike around with my video camera and, and show you how they, the city or someone, whoever the authority is, has painted uh, white circles all over the park and you, you best be sitting in your white circle. Otherwise you could get a fine for social distancing. But now you see multiple people in the, so, in the circle, so who's gonna ask these people? Do you live together? Are you family? Who knows? Honestly, who knows? But uh, let's just have a look. Let's see what the scene is. And, uh, but the main idea, as, as I've said from the beginning, is that everybody's following the rules. These are all young 20-somethings, mostly. And uh, they probably support the lockdown, too. It's maybe not all of them. All right. Now, this is the more dense. There's more trees in this portion of the park, so there's no... Uh, white circles here. See here you can see a few circles. See there's one, there's two. See some people are respecting them. I'm not trying to get in anyone's face here. I just want to show that people are actually following the rules. And I think it's, I mean, it horrifies me to think that this is what the younger generation, this is how they accept everything. Um, so we're coming up to a field here. See everyone there. See, there's a circle, 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 circle. And you see the people in the background? They're all in circles. All these people are following the rules. I'm not going to zoom in on them. It's not my business. And uh, I didn't see any cops here, but I suppose there, there could be cops coming by. And you can see everyone is following the rules. I mean, I mean there's, not, there's not too many people here, but I don't mean that's fine. I mean, you may as well sit in a circle if you have this much space. But you could see in the more treat area over there, Everyone was, I mean, why does it matter if you've got this much space? Are you going to get in trouble because you're between the white lines? Uh-oh, if, 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 I'm, if I'm sitting on the grass here between the two circles, could I get a ticket? I mean, obviously that would be silly. That guy's following the rules. Everyone's following the rules. So I think you get it. I'm sure these people believe in the lockdown. I'm sure 80% 80, 80 of them believe in it, believe it's a good thing. And then they're not social distancing in some cases. Here they're social distancing, but they'll bring their group, they'll bring their personal group of friends here. And they'll all sit together. And there's no problem with that, right? As I was leaving, I thought to myself, why, you know, it's, it's funny because the parts of the city which are more dense, where there's more people in them, they're the ones that the police are going to see what you're doing and make sure you're following the rules. If you go out to, like, you know, the random parts of the city, like where I live, where most of the immigrants are, or it's just whatever, you don't have to worry about seeing any cops. 
getting hassled about any of this stuff. But you see, because these people choose to live so close to the downtown core, and uh, maybe they're hipsters, yuppies, whatever, they pay the price for that. The price is you are trapped in the system even more. Okay, hasta luego, amigos.